Ambassador Alan Baker, former legal advisor to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Israeli ambassador to Canada, thank you for being with us here today. You're welcome. How do you explain the multitude of civilian deaths in Gaza over the last few days? The, the, the fact that the rocket emplacements and, and uh, headquarters of Hamas are deep within civilian areas, uh, underneath uh, uh, populated uh, areas, means that, that civilians inevitably are harmed when, uh, when attacked because they've got nowhere to go. The Hamas won't allow them into their tunnels and underground shelters because they, they're reserving them for their own uh, commanders and they're reserving them to store their rockets. Could you tell us what types of war crimes are being performed in this ongoing conflict and by whom? Well, it's, it's principally two very, very major war crimes. One is the fact that they're uh, targeting uh, Israeli civilians, towns and villages with thousands and thousands of rockets. This is indiscriminate uh, uh, targeting. This is, is prohibited. This is a war crime. But, but no less uh, serious is the fact that they're locating all their weaponry and uh, headquarters in uh, civilian areas in, in Gaza. And this is prohibited to, to, to shield weapons and weapon emplacements and military locations by uh, using civilians is, is a very, very serious war crime. But how can you claim Hamas are performing war crimes if they're not a country? Do the rules of war actually apply to them? The rules of war apply to any uh, uh, terrorist organization or non-self-governing entity that enters into armed conflict uh, against uh, another country or, or, or any other body. And as soon as they do that, so they're, 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 they're obliged to act in accordance with the rules of international humanitarian law. So they are committing war crimes.